I originally happened upon Anthurium Shares Arianum in the University of Winnipeg's greenhouse. When I first saw the twisted arrangement of its spadix, it simply struck me as odd. While reviewing the footage, I began to realize simply how much excellence this plant has on film. Upon repeated visits to the greenhouse, I noticed how interesting it was that each inflorescence's spadix curled in its own completely unique way. Prior to this, I had always thought that it made the most sense not to scan a plant more than once for efficiency's sake. Anthurium shares arianum showed me how the subtle variations that occur for one plant are in fact quite valuable to focus on. The beginning movements of the tip of the spadix cracking before it goes upwards serves as a wondrous prelude to what comes next, the whole of the spadix moving around. Compared to the bizarreness of the spadix, the spade at first seems almost banal, but a closer study reveals a subtle yet brilliant pattern of faint white dots. One also has to wonder about the evolutionary rationale behind the brilliant red coloration of the spade. The faint discoloration along the margins of the tear at the top of this shot subtly nuances its composition. When viewed as a whole, the specimen looks a bit awkward, as it's not really symmetrical from this viewpoint. I think it's really great when a plant can surprise you in this way. Just think of the many strange plants that have yet to be discovered, and the many extinct ones that never will be.